Hello everyone and welcome to another video today. Today we're looking at a Q&A that I did with the developers of Deadly Broadcast. It's a new, recently launched, just came out of its uh, beta uh, co-op horror game. And this one you play as a streamer where you go in and you live stream uh, a haunted location and you find out that, okay, there is an actual like possessed demon person here and there are zombies. You have to kill zombies, hearts, and all this other stuff. It's a really interesting game very fast pace. Um, one of the more unique aspects of it is that you uh, interact with your, your stream chat in the game and, uh, you know, they'll talk about what's going on and they'll donate money to you. And if you, uh, do the challenge that they give you, they give you even more money. Uh, the, the core concept of the game, apart from the, you know, uh, defeat the possessed, to defeat the zombies and stuff like that for every map, is that every streamer you play, you build up their following. And the more followers you get, the more money you bring in to be able to purchase things like perks and cosmetics. Really interesting concept, uh, lots of potential. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the uh, Q&A and let you guys see what I asked, and I'll let you know what the answers were. So the first thing I uh, mentioned was that uh, there are still a few bugs in the game. Uh, the bosses can still grab people through walls and from across tables, is this an issue that will be fixed? And the answer was a resounding yes, we are working to remove all bugs. And when I say through walls, I mean like, they're not they're not randomly reaching across the map or something like that. Occasionally you will have a wall that has, you know, like a doorway here and then a doorway on this side. And if you're running this way and the boss is running this way, uh, they, they can, so long as they're within the proximity, they'll notice that you're there behind the wall and be able to grab you. Um, it doesn't happen very often. You can figure out which spots it happens in and avoid those areas, but um, it does sort of limit um, which areas you can go to, at least on the prison map, especially uh, so that you don't get grabbed unintentionally. But they're working on it. It's going to get fixed. Can't really complain. After that, I asked, players seem to be able to buy all of the abilities in the game after only a few uh, games if they stick with one character. Is this something you see as an issue that might need to have its numbers tweaked? Uh, the answer to that was yes. At the moment, the economy of the game is not fully adjusted. We will have the economy settled uh, with the new maps. Okay, so I should also point out that uh, new maps are coming out. They've already teased which two maps they will be. Uh, one is going to be a Chinese fishing village, and the other is going to be a haunted cathedral in Spain. There's actually an active vote up right now on their Steam community page, and you can go there and vote to see which uh, map comes out first. But, seeing as how the uh, economy is not quite adjusted, because I can tell you right now, if you focus just on one uh, streamer, one character in the game, and you play... I did it in nine hours. You know, you every... Stream, every, every match you play builds up your streamers uh, community and the more people you have, the more people who are watching, the more people who are donating. Uh, I was able to buy every single perk and every single cosmetic for every single character um, in the game within just a few hours. So the economy will, I do think the economy has to be <laughs> adjusted just a little bit uh, because right now that's that's a day of play and then there's not really anything else to do uh, in the game, if they really dial it back, they can push people to like play playing for a total of like one month or something like that uh, to get that. But with the two new maps coming out, that's also more things that you're going to have to be looking at. But one of the follow up questions that I have is what will happen to the abilities and cosmetics that players have already purchased when the economy is rebalanced? Will they keep what they already have purchased or will they have to purchase them again? And the answer to that was that previously purchased items will remain with the player. When it comes to something like this, when it's um, this uh, big of an issue, and when I say big of an issue, I'm just like, you know, nobody's going to complain that you can get everything in a day and just have everything that you want. But um, when it comes to something like this, I think that maybe uh, they could just reset everybody's abilities and cosmetics because you're not using any real life money you're only using in-game money to purchase these items and abilities so as long as you don't take someone's 
you know, in-game money away, you could reset the perks and reset the cosmetics at least this one time when you're going for an official balance uh, and let them spend the very large amounts of money <laughs> that they already have accrued to just buy them back again. It's not really even going to dent their wallet. I can tell you right now that if I went onto the game right now, um, I could probably purchase everything all over again because I play the game like once or twice a day and I play it with my main uh, streamer so that I can, um, what am I trying to think of? So that I can just, you know, accumulate money for when new things come out. If they'd taken all of the cosmetics away and they took away all of the um, abilities and just said you have to repurchase them because of the new balance thing, I, I'm pretty sure I could just, you know, purchase them two or three times over even after being rebalanced. But, you know, that's just me. If you, I understand they want, they don't want to take something away from people, so I wouldn't complain about that either. I'd still have my massive amounts of money. Um, uh, after that, a few players have spoken to to uh, wish that the perk increases your inven that the I'm sorry, <laughs> a few players I've spoken to wish that the perk that increases your inventory came with expanded hotkey functionality or the ability to use the mouse wheel just to scroll through your entire inventory slot instead of tabbing through to grab items. Is this something we might see in the future? The answer was yes, this makes sense. I'm adding inventory, hotkey, and scroll to our hot, to our list of things to do. Um, after that, I, actually I'm, I'm kind of happy to see that because right now what it is is you have four hotkey inventory slots, but there is a perk that gives you an additional five inventory slots on top of the two secondary slots that you already have. You can get a total of like something like almost close to 10 inventory slots. But the only hotkey functionality for inventory slots right now is one through four. And you can't use the mouse wheel to scroll through them. You have to manually, you have to tap out of the game and the game doesn't pause. <laughs> so you have to tap out of the game, grab whatever is in your inventory, slide it up, you know, and click and drag up to your inventory slot. Right, uh, I asked about this for either uh, additional hotkey functionality, you know, one through zero all the way across the keyboard or just scroll with your mouse wheel to be able to like select the item that you want quickly in order to prevent you having to you know tab out of the game while you might be in mid chase with the boss or mid fight with some of the demons so uh, them adding that to their list of things to do makes me happy already because that will be a huge quality of life change the next question is with the number of co-op horror games focusing on defeating possessed enemies on the rise Deadly Broadcast has put an interesting spin on the genre with its focus on gaining stream followers and raising your numbers and cash flow in this way. Do you plan on adding other purchasable items that the players can get, like emotes and similar things for their stream chat, to use in the game? The answer is yes, we are considering adding items to spice up the chat in with in-game purchases. Which is something I was kind of... Uh, if you watched uh, either of my streams where I streamed the, uh, the game, so far... Um, the stream chat, you know, it, it has, like, more general kind of uh, chat going on. Like, what's what's this doing? Oh, my gosh, run. You have to kill all these devils, you know, stuff like that. But you notice one thing that's really missing when it comes to a live stream chat is the emotes. Nobody's using emotes or anything like that. That's why I was like, oh, that's a little curious. I wonder if you can, like, purchase emotes for your chat to use or something like that. So, Yeah. The answer was yes, we're planning on adding stuff like that. Um, after that was, uh, the game has, currently has two maps, the hospital and the prison. You have two more maps on the way, the fishing village and the cathedral. Do you plan on adding more maps in the future? The answer was yes, we are developing new maps. With new maps, the game will develop more challenging, more exciting, and more puzzling ways. Uh, of course, we want to add new maps, features, and characters if the players like it. So we already know of the two maps. The the uh, fishing village and the cathedral, and they are already uh, well on their way to developing even more maps than that. So in the very near future, we'll have four maps total, which will actually bring up uh, bring the game up to the grand total of Devour's maps, which is not bad considering Devour is, I personally think, the premier game in this genre so far. And they're working on more maps right now. Uh, let's see, what else? We have, how do you plan on monetizing the game? Will it be one-time purchases as it is currently, or will you charge a small fee for new maps and characters? 
And the answer was a simple, it will be a one-time purchase as it is now. So once you buy the game, you're done. Uh, you don't have to buy anything else. Now, if they added, you know, purchasable cosmetics and stuff like that for your streamers or for the stream chat or, you know, maybe like a border around your stream or something like that, anything, anything that they kind of think of to kind of make it more, you know, this is my stream layout and whatnot. Um, you know, I, I, I wouldn't complain about that at all. Uh, small indie games do sort of need to ride uh, when it comes to uh, purchasable cosmetics, whatnot. So these are things like if they, if it's a one-time purchase for I think it was seven dollars is how much I purchased it for, and then they said you know here's a, a two dollar cosmetic I'm not going to complain about that because a seven dollar game with <laughs> still takes what let's see uh fifty three so that's twenty one twenty one cosmetics. 21 two dollar cosmetics to get up to a 60 dollar game and, and with free dlc and everything like that you, you that's not a uh thing that you can complain about you're winning every time there so if they wanted to do that i'd be perfectly okay with it uh, the accessory tab in the character select screen is labeled as soon uh, when can we expect to see accessories and what can we expect from them the answer was accessory sections will be opened within a month we designed items such as glasses, jewelry, and funny hats as accessories. And my follow-up uh, question for that was, as far as accessories are concerned, will they be purely cosmetic, or will they have some gameplay effect, like headphones making things louder, or glasses making things easier to see from a distance, etc.? And the answer was, accessories will be purely cosmetic. So, not only are you going to be purchasing, you know, your, your shirts, pants, stuff like that, to, you know, change up the look of your character, you can also be purchasing accessories and stuff like that soon. And they won't have any really any gameplay function uh, beyond just making you stand out from all the other characters uh, or uh, all the other players who are playing that character. Um, next question I asked was, what sort of community, community growth effort do you have in mind beyond Discord? The answer was, currently our community links are in the game and on our website, Steam, etc., our community is self-evolving. We listen to players' requests and complaints. And my follow-up uh, question for uh, them, and it's going to be the follow-up question whenever I do uh, any kind of uh, indie horror stuff like that, because it's a very genuine question. It's a good question, I think, uh, to ask, is have you considered looking for content creators to be sort of ambassadors for the game, similar to the Fog Whisperers program in Dead by Daylight or the Rewinders program in Video Horror Society? And the answer to this was, yes, we are definitely looking to do it. And the reason I asked this uh, of smaller indie games is smaller indie games, while they may not be able to pay um, a content creator or anything like that, what they can do is do something special for the content creator, like maybe put a shirt with their logo or something like that in the game that the content creator can use or give out to the, uh, uh, their community, like codes for it and stuff. So um, it also helps to build a rapport with, you know, a couple of content creators and helps to those content creators push that game out. And the more people playing that game on, on uh, Twitch or, you know, YouTube or anything like that, the more people you're going to see coming to the game. So it's it's an odd, it's a question I think needs to be asked, you know, are you considering doing this because there might be some people interested in helping. So it's not just for me because I'm always interested in uh playing indie horror games. You know, even if somebody doesn't pick me, I'm still going to play it. It's just this, you know, it's the same thing with whoop, where is it? <laughs> right there. Devour uh me the big picture devour <laughs> the shirt devour, <laughs> you know, am I an official content creator for them? No. Do I make content anyway? Yes, because I love the game. I'm still going to make content. So, but when it comes to stuff like this, I think it's important to ask because I want to know how their community, how they they plan on interacting with their community. Um, let's see. The next thing was, do you plan on having in-game events for certain holidays or lore events? And the answer was yes, we plan on in-game events and decorations for special days. So we can actually expect, you know, new decorations and stuff like that coming into each of the maps and maybe uh, special cosmetics and whatnot coming in 
once we get to things like Halloween or Christmas or anything like that. Usually games like this, they, they kind of stick to the big holidays so that everybody can participate. And it's not as big of a load having to you know, like try and catch up with every single holiday. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, next up is, do you plan on having a native English speaker go through text and doing some editing? The answer was yes, we are actually considering this option for a lot of languages. And the reason I ask this is because um, the English is slightly off. You know, somebody who has a decent grasp of the language but doesn't know the nuance and stuff like that. So little things like, you know, people would say that's in there. You know, it, instead it would be something like they are in there. It's very subtle, but it's just enough to let you know that whoever's typing the English isn't a native speaker. It's not bad, but it's not, you know, spot on, and native English speakers will just go, huh, that's that's not quite right. So um, when, it, when it comes to stuff like that, you know, you always want to find out, are you guys going to kind of localize things a little bit more? Um, for Deadly Broadcast, there's actually a lot of voice acting for a game like this. So I guess a follow-up question for me, at least, should have been, uh, are you also looking at getting native English speaking voice actors? But I suppose if they watch the video and hear my follow up question, maybe they'll send it to me and I'll pass it along. Uh, the final question uh, was, there's a lot of integration possibilities for players who actually stream the game on Twitch or YouTube. Is this something you've considered attempting? And this, the answer was, yes, this is something we are considering. And when I say that, I mean, the game is literally, you play as a streamer to a chat who donates money <laughs> to challenges and stuff like that. And we already know that there are integrated systems in different games where if you are streaming, you can, uh, your chat can donate bits or donate uh, money to you to send you a challenge and you have to do that challenge there's like little card systems and stuff like that uh just for twitch alone so the question is not silly especially for a game that's built around being a streamer going into a haunted area maybe you can make it so that you know the the regular in-game chat goes away and your stream chat is actually put up in the in the in the panel instead and maybe you could say i want to you know turn off the in-game uh challenges and let my chat donate bits or you know um uh, uh use my points and stuff like that to put up challenges uh, i'm not sure how they would do that because you know the challenges give you in-game money for accomplishing them so maybe it's something like you know however much however many uh bits or points or something like that uh they purchase the challenge for is how much you would get uh in the in the end of the game or something like that but i'm not really sure but it's nice to know that they are considering trying to figure that out and integrate it into their game but that is it for my uh for, for my d <laughs> for my q a uh for deadly broadcast the uh developers were really really quick to answer my questions they were quick to answer my follow-up questions and explain different things i'm going to be talking with them a little bit more to see if i can you know get some more information out there for you i want to ask them about the uh two maps coming up the fishing village and the cathedral i want to get you guys some information on what maybe if they are going to get new perks and stuff like that for it maybe new uh streamers to level up as well so you're Pay attention to that, and we'll see what we can do, see what we can figure out. If there's other questions you'd like me to ask the devs, just go ahead and put them down in the, uh, <laughs> in the comments section below. I hope you all have a great day, and as always, stay positive.